Hey everyone, this is Austin Schur here with We Write About Music, and I'm back on again with Flo Glee today. He's just released his newest single called Leave Me Alone, and I can't wait to hear all about it. How you doing, man? It's been a little bit. What's going on? Hey. Hi, yeah. Uh, great to talk to you again. Um, yeah, man. Let's hear I it. I think this, this is our third one, right? It is. Third Three and in a row. the best one. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on a roll. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, I just before, I mean, like, I just wanted to say this has become a really important part of my process, you know, for a few reasons that I wanted to share with you and tell you. Please. Um, I think one of the one of the things that I really want to say straight off the bat, which rings in my ears, a very talented uh, author of mine, he, fingers crossed, soon will be known to the world uh, in the horror genre, um, psychological horror. He said to me, he listened to this. Well, what's oh, he watched Shout him out. Uh, not yet, man. Okay. I will no do. Worries. I will do. I will do. Okay. Uh, he's, I mean, he's at a stage where, you know, it's, it's behind us, you know, it's, it's not been published yet and sure, it's sure. still being edited. It's still being edited. Okay. I will though. Uh, but what he <laughs> said was, um, he, he really complimented your interviewing style, right? Oh. He said that, yeah, he said you are empathic, but challenging, right? And he said this was more like a dance, like a discussion. And one thing I would like, it, it, it kind of rung in my, you know, a light bulb went off. And um, a year into this as an independent artist, you know, and, and the grind of building a business and all that. Um, I've come across a lot of characters in this. I think I've talked to you about this before. But the kind of, I'm very specific now about the kind of people I want to share this with and, and I want to be involved with, right? And if I were to pick two words, it would be empathic and challenging, right? You understand the artist, and but you challenge the artist as well. So I just wanted to feed that back to you. Uh, That's amazing. And, you know, and 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 yeah, and and um, and thank you for that. Well, I want to thank on, you. On I want to thank you because realistically, I am just a guy on the other side of the screen that is trying as hardest to get to know independent artists. You know what I mean? Right. And it's but that not makes like you. It, that makes. So Sorry, far, no. I was gonna say no, it's I, not. It's that, not like a standard like celebrity interview where there's, you know, articles and articles of information to pull from, and you can bring up facts about someone that happened from ten years ago. It's like, re, you know, I don't really know too much about you, and so I have to pull what I can. But I want right. to make them as interesting as possible. I just want to tell you, right, from what I've experienced, one th when you when you do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You actually, you realize um, that, Yeah. in fact, there's a line in the song. We might as well touch on the song now. Yeah, right? I want to I hear all about it, obviously. But, but yeah, keep going on your thought. And the second verse starts with, uh, why do you hate artists? Look, I made all this, but it's not for you, right? Yeah. Now, this is, and that's one of the things that maybe even like, you know, connecting with someone like yourself helps shape, you know, that line on an unconscious level, which is why I say this is so important. Uh, to the process on a number of levels sure. but um uh, the lack of empathy out there uh and, and when you tie that with the amount of hate out there right you know I, I link the two and i'm like well people are there are a lot of people who are jealous of artists they don't understand us they hate us but they also want to be able to do what we do right oh yeah there's a th on a lot of levels a, yeah, there's a disconnect. Now, you're a rare breed from as far as I'm concerned, because there are not many people like that. There's not many people who will set up a page and, and maybe, you know, assuming, I don't know, maybe you have ambitions for some kind of business for this or it's, it's in, uh, important to your career. I would hope so. I mean, this is you it. Develop, this right. Is what I do. So, right. Well, there you go. There are not many people that I can find who, who do that for the right reasons, which is a love of music and art and an interest, a genuine interest in who and what an artist is right right so that's why this is so important and these are actually the kind of things that were in my mind when i when i when i wrote this or at least part of it you know sure. um like the title leave me alone uh it's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> dude this is not like okay this is not yeah. like a, a really this is not a really like you know deep song with you know an amazing message uh, it, it's it's kind of just letting off steam in the summer heat, you know, like letting. But it you know doesn't I mean? it doesn't need to be this deep thoughtful thing. Like it's fun. There are some like legitimately right. funny lines in it, like that had me giggling <laughs> a little bit. But it's 
it's a feel good track, I, I, I think. And I think it's one that really does allow you to blow off steam. Like we're all dealing with this, you know, crazy time in our lives that doesn't seem to end. And yeah, man, get in there and get the anger out. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, you know, um, I do look, this is going in a lot of directions, uh, sort of what's going on in my head in terms of the, the actual vision and message. It's shaping up. It's just not, you, you know, it's not published yet, right? Yeah. Um, one of the things that is, you know, it's like, okay, it's a bit like this, man. You know, when I now, when I now look at some of my, him and, and, and Marshall Mathers, you know, M&M, you know, at the time, you know, during that horrific incident at Columbine, right? Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, this, this notion of being like scapegoated, right? Sure. Uh, and hated, right? Now, uh, I've started to experience those things in, in a very, obviously, in a, like, in, you know, on a, level which is absolutely incomparable to them uh, but the emo the emotional impact on me is you know it, it can be so severe right and i'm a sober guy dude i've, I've done 12 step I've, I've you know i've done a lot of work on myself emotionally i've had i've had to thank you i've had to otherwise i wouldn't be here so i can kind of absorb that on my on my level but i'm look i'm looking at these guys and i'm like Let's take away whatever's happening right now, right? Sure, go, sure. Go, go back then. I'm talking about a specific incident, right? And all this hate is projected at you, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, and, and, and there's a lot of it out there. I'm starting to experience it. There's a lot of it. So I, I, I use the medium as a way to, to vent that. And I have a suspicion, man. I've got a little theory here. I wonder if, because my persona is getting darker, the more I experience, Right. The more I, I don't I, like, I don't tell people I'm an artist in real life, in person. I don't sure. like it. I just don't do it. Right. I mean, I've got a personal trainer now. He asked me, what do you do? And I was like, oh my God, really? Here we go again. <laughs> uh, right. He doesn't know. I, I don't talk to him about it. And if he mentions it, I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Look, there are people who I'm trying to get people to promote it. You know, that's how yeah. I am because it's such a vulnerable thing. It's such it a is. vulnerable process. And 99% of people don't get it. They just, they don't understand it. Right. Um, and my persona is getting darker, which actually helps allow me to, to be lighter as a, as a, you know, a human being. Sure. And, and, and some of the stuff I've started writing, this is nothing, man. This is like a joke, this song, right? Some of the, some of the stuff I'm writing yeah. is like, I'm like, okay, whoa. And I, I just can't help but wonder if something like, you know, a Slim Shady emerged from a similar process or... I would say feedback. yes. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm not insane, right? I, no. I just cook that up in my head. Thank you. Okay. If you'll, if you'll allow me to like interject for just a second about your persona going darker, listen, I don't know you as a person outside of your music. You know what I mean? But I think that outside factors would play a difference and play a serious, you know, I think like like the news cycles and everything that's happening in the world and just the constant downpour of negativity that seems to be coming in everyone's lives can definitely affect one's mood and maybe the music that they're making. And I don't know if that's having an effect on you because I don't know what's going on in your day-to-day -day life, but I know that if I were making music, it would surely have an outcome on the lyrics that I was creating. Yeah, I mean, like, Dude, everyone has, I suppose, I can, now I'll only speak for myself. I now, please, I, I please. kind of, st I start to see my process in others now as well. That kind of, you know, when you realize that you have artistic ability and, and, yeah. and that you start, you start, you know, it, it takes a lot of courage. Shout out to everybody who in any way puts their art out there, you know, yeah. really. Um, there's a great book called The War of Art by somebody. You should check it out. Uh, anyway, I don't know if you, maybe you already have um, what are we talking about? The song? Yeah. So, yes. and the persona. Yeah. So basically, um, also, you know, being as different as I am, you know, autists, we are, we belong to a, a minority man, probably one to 5%. Five is a real stretch. Uh, 
and it's a silent majority, a minority, right? Yeah. It's it's, uh, it's raceless. It's um, and it's it's neurologically based, uh, but it's still a minority, and it leads to and we we're not cut out for the social rules of what's going on out there, right? We're just not sure. the rules of engagement, um, and um, you know that that amounts to I'm going to say it, it amounts to like a, a very uh, subtle form, but 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 uh, very poisonous form of oppression, yeah. uh, and um, that like most things that come to me from what's out there are hard to deal with as it is, right? right. And then you add this this negativity that is kind of sadly, you know, very we're going through hard hard times. You know, I get it. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, but that negativity that circles around for someone like me who absorbs a lot of that. It is very hard to deal with. So the, the you know, Iron Man, you know that thing he has there? That's yeah. a good way of putting it. That's kind of how I view the creative center, right? So it, it's like this okay, thing that's I there. I like that. It, yeah, it's kind of like this thing that's attached to you and it gives you this 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 power to heal yourself, right? Yeah, and, completely. And, and, and um, so it, that kind of goes in there and then out comes what you hear, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and the more, the more that, and there's a lot coming in there sure, the more that, sure. and, and the more that comes in there, it's the darker, the stuff that comes out that that's right. kind of what I'm trying to say, you know? Um, but I, I equally, I, 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 from the perspective of mental health, as you know, that's very important to me. I, I, I have to make the point that this is like, not some kind of, you know, alchemy that is produced by a wizard who is superhuman. You know, this isn't like some kind of fucking genius that popular culture loves to portray and, and of course. Much, to the, much to the detriment of artists. Uh, it, it's, it's hard for a human being to deal with that, right? right? From a mental health perspective, we are people who are heavily prone to having unhealthy coping mechanisms like addiction and stuff. Sure. And then, so when I equally, when I look at, if you see the persona getting dark, if I see a persona getting darker, I would actually have concern for the artist, man. I'd be like, are you okay? Like, you know, right. I mean, be, well, because I mean, in that case, is there a driving force in you? Like, is there a single factor that is turning you that way? Or is it just a lot of different tiny life things? Well, dude, it's, it, it's a lot of things. Um, <sighs> Look, I'll share more. Like as a person, I practice a lot of, of gratitude. I practice a lot of, uh, you know, I do I do a lot of meditative techniques to, you know, really kind of stay away from from the resentment that builds up because sure, it, sure. I, I, you can't do this without resentment building up, man. No, it, you know, it is in, it is incredibly frustrating. Um, you know, as much as I challenge myself, I got to be patient. Blah blah blah. The process itself of uh, having your work uh interact with and find a, a symbiosis with the commercial world is again not for the faint-hearted sure it really isn't and um uh, artists from time immemorial we've had a tendency to have been exploited with that and in that that it, that is what it is mm -hmm. all right so um and and we talked about how they're just you know i had a conversation with a friend yesterday um by the way, this is all relevant to the song. This is the stuff where I'm at, and it sure. turns into this. So yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not just like going off on a tangent here. Uh, you know, there's like, no I wrong talk... answers here. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I, you know, I, I still kind of think things should be structured. Anyway, fuck that. So uh, I, I was talking to a friend yesterday, and I was like, man, you know, why is there so much hate out there? Like, for artists in particular, like, right. like why, why, what? You know, is it jealousy? Okay, but I still. Do you, have you ever like and i said to him i said i would and i've written stuff about this yeah. i would love for p i would love for one of these guys as a thought experiment to be able to live in my head and my body for a day yeah all right yeah. live in my head and my body for one day without having any of the tools that i worked really hard to, to acquire and use you wouldn't last man you wouldn't last a single fucking day right yeah. and and fewer people like you who are empathic and challenging that actually understand that or really actually care about that man. Mm -hmm. you know the, the the con artists out there i mean they yeah. obviously don't care like why scam us of all people we create stuff for the enjoyment of people out there as much as we do to heal ourselves i think it's about 
there being so many artists out there that it's just like it's easy picking you know what i mean like you throw out a message to a hundred people and you get three responses like it's just sure. an easy scam bait you know right. what i'm but saying it like tells, it sucks it, it, it sucks obviously but it it does and and you know i accept your reasoning behind that sure that makes sense for me. and it may not be correct i don't know well yeah i mean maybe it, you know it, it, from the point of view of economics supply demand whatever but right. i mean like it says a lot about certain you know i mean it's kind of scary in fact the internet in general man Oh, it's terrifying. Like it's, it's, it's it, terrifying. It, 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 you know, I mean, like, I if you ran, if you ran a psychological experiment on some of these people, yeah. if what they're saying and doing is like reflective of, of of them, it's it's not. It's pretty worrying for as far as we are as a species in terms of human nature. Like, <laughs> I, I don't think I we've gotten that. I don't think we've gotten that far since, like, you know, the world wars and the genocides and all that oh, shit. No. It's not. Maybe we've gone backwards. Even. <laughs> maybe we have. You know that you know and it's kind of scary and and like someone like me absorbs that dude it goes inside here especially yeah. when you're actually like you, you're a target for it i mean it's actually thrown right at you totally so yeah man it's uh it's it's rough because you want i mean i don't know about you i want so badly for things just to be okay and for people to be cool with each other but i feel like the more exposure you have to the internet where anyone can be anyone you know what I mean? Like, there's no filters. There's no backlash for the negative things you say. It just attracts the lowest of the low to say whatever they want with no repercussions. Yeah, and and I mean, it's it's a bit of a shock to me. I haven't been that active on the net for since I started doing this, and and now that has kind of you know like yeah, I'm more I'm more present online than I am totally you know, out there. You and have I'm, to that's be. You have to be. have to be. And I mean you know you have to be and and um so i guess what i'm trying to say austin is like it, you know this is i'm grateful that i have this mechanism to to turn it into what you hear right sure and i mean i mean this this song was like you know it it was lighthearted as well um in yeah. places i do talk i do talk a little bit about my my origins and identity that would that is quite confusing to a lot of neurotypicals and particular people on the spectrum get it more mm -hmm. um but i've had a strange kind of life i've moved around a lot and but i, I said look i i am brit ish right i was i was born and schooled in britain so oh. you know, I, I put a i put a line in there um i said i was a brit i'm not going to say the rest because it's slightly x-rated uh yeah, I wrote but... it in my notes, and it was pretty hilarious. And I like, <laughs> I'm hesitant to even say it, but I'm also just gonna <laughs> tell people to listen because that's what we're here for. Listen to the music; it was it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. To, it was fun to write, man. I mean, I'm like... sure of it. Like, I'm not joking, and I'm not just saying this because we're talking to each other. But I listened to it a few times at this point, and you actually had me like laughing, which is great because it's not often that I laugh when I listen to music, but I felt positive afterwards even though no, the I'm song really even though the song is generally negative in parts until you know you leave me alone there were still moments in it that made me feel good and were relatable so i don't know if that's what you were going for but i left feeling positive well i'm happy to hear that man i mean it, yeah. yeah like humor is i just said this to a friend of mine who yeah. really uh shout out mind seed i'm about to just mention his track yeah, yeah, yeah. uh he's from canada as well <laughs> i think um he he wrote this really funny song man and i said to him i said you know nailing humor in in the medium of music is actually quite hard <laughs> yeah uh, and, and yeah yeah it it, it it has to come very naturally i mean I, you know i don't claim to be a, a comedian of any description but you know he nailed it like in his track mm -hmm. um he, he really nailed it very effortlessly um but yeah, the other thing about like, uh, I mentioned, I won't say the line here, but I mentioned the, uh, the Queen of England, right? That's the line. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I won't say what it was, but I basically dissed the Queen, right? For very valid reasons, as far as sure. I'm concerned. Yeah. It's, all, it's also links to my Indian origin, because I don't know if you're about colon, colonial history, but they, they looted a lot from from my motherland including like of course of course very 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 valuable jewels right <laughs> yes and, and, and uh um 
but it's, I, I, what I was actually thinking was like in a place like Thailand, right? You can't, if you say anything about the king, they'll, they'll put you in jail. I think they maybe even have, oh, not, yeah. the, not the death penalty, but they, you're not getting out of a Thai prison. No, they're going to, the yeah, king. exactly. Right? So, no. I mean, this is like, this is almost like a shout out to, you know, thank you to the free world that I, you know, you can actually say this, you know, totally. without, <laughs> without I, I fully being, agree. I fully agree. <laughs> But um, no, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I can't really remember what is in the rest of it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, what can I say? That, that just leaves the mystery for people to actually listen to it. Just know yeah. that it's great and that it's it's worth your time. Yeah. Uh, how much time do we have? Speaking of time. Oh man, you can keep going. Yeah. So um, uh the beat i i love the beat i love the melody and the beat shout yeah. out to lnp uh really I, I found a couple of really talented producers in um central asia of all places man i mean it just shows how really? far the yeah hip-hop has just got it's reached every corner of the, of the globe that is um, that is a fact um and um actually yeah, I, I did have one specific question for you that is sort sort of tied to that I want to yeah. know since, okay, so, so you've been very consistent with your releases, you know what I mean? Mm. Like you're, you're not waiting three months or six months. Like it's almost been on a monthly basis. Right. So I want to know from release to release over the course of this year, what do you feel that you've learned, especially from this last release to this upcoming one? What have I learned? Like what is, you... has your approach changed? from releasing can you, uh can you just pinpoint that a bit more yeah. do you mean in terms of the question is basically the, how has your approach changed of releasing music from the last release to this one the release strategy or yeah the, the, the strategy the create oh right now so, okay i'm glad you asked that now this is one yeah. of the things that i have to have a lot of patience with because it's it's kind of trial and error based Sure. We don't have, um, you know, I ha dude, there isn't like a, a, a blueprint or a manual for this, really, when you start no, releasing. Not at all. And, and if you look for one, you kind of, you're, you're, uh, you're very um, vulnerable to being misled by some of the types we talked about earlier, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bullshit out there. Um, and I don't really, at the end of the day, man, like, you know, th this is, uh, you're running your time attempting to build a business right and a brand now yeah. no one tells you that a, when you start no but you got to wise up to that very fast if you want your stuff heard you got to i have i've accepted through a lot of uh, <laughs> you know mental agony uh i have to i have to embrace commerce and i have to do it in a certain way yeah. uh no one tells you how to do that you got to learn that very fast you got to pick you got to learn fast and you got to refine your strategy fast and you got to do it on the fly. You got to do it while it's going. Right. And if you, if you're not releasing, you won't actually have feedback from the process itself to refine your, right. your, your strategies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now I, the reason I just want to say, I don't like that because it's imprecise. Oh you know, yeah. Feel, no, there's no tracking. There's no data. No, it's all just it's, like it's, throwing it, stuff at a board. And right. With sticks. Not just, some, dude, it's throwing money, man. Like, you, Oh, you that too. You, you can't be a credible entrepreneur and not know what where your dollar is going mm -hmm. and what return you're getting on it, right? Yeah. Now, what I, what I will say is to share, to talk some gratitude is, uh, firstly, I'll say, if I could be releasing every two weeks, I would do that. Sure. Uh, I, I, one of my medium term goals is to get more studio time, if not full-time access to my studio with my wizard in there, my sound guy who's brilliant, sure. Tobias, shout out Tobias. And you know, we got a great chemistry and that will come, I'm working towards it. Um, but you know, one month seems a good fit. I got some feedback from followers saying that that's kind of what they want as well right now. Okay, that's great. reasonable. Now, it is. Now, what I'm learning is, um, um, yeah, if you're using Instagram, which we're kind of all obliged to do, it's like a, you know, it's a, almost across the bear right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but um, so you know, you have to be real and and genuine and show an interest in who is following you and your audience. Right. Like, you know, um, and that's a good opportunity to do that and to get feedback from them. You know, use your stories, you ask questions, get 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 feedback from them. They're your life force. Right. The other thing I've learned is this place 
take the business shit aside. This platform right now is like a nest for me. It's like a little creative nest. Yeah. Um, you know, that uh, I'm using to connect with kids. And, and actually, it's not about me. I don't make it about me. It's about these kids. I, I want to try and, you know, gently find out about them. I found some very creative types who are themselves ambitious and want to do certain things. And I look to support them. And through that, I actually get a lot back, man. Oh, I, which I didn't sure expect. You know, their kids doing amazing artwork for me for like 10 bucks a piece. Uh, you know, they, they're asking me for advice. One kid said, you're already one of my favorite rappers. I was like, what? That's amazing. <laughs> but it feels you know, good, so, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does feel good. And, and you know, um, I'm writing a song for them right now. Like, uh, I'm looking forward oh, cool. to releasing it. Yeah, and, 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 and you know, so the, it's, it's, it's that interaction and, you know, looking to support them and, and giving back everything that you already have in sure. your stage and your process. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit like, well, I don't want you to fall a prey to this shit. Mm -hmm. You can learn that. You can learn my from my process creatively if you want to. You want to learn how to do this kind of thing, um, you know. So it, it's very much about you lift the kids up and then they lift you up. And Instagram, for whatever it is, it gives you the opportunity to do that, man. Yeah. You just got to run ads on it, right? And that's the next <laughs> thing. That's yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's the next thing we're doing. We're going to run an ad campaign. So we'll ho I'll hopefully be filling you in on that in a couple of months. Good luck, because I know it can be difficult and time consuming and hard to get the targeting right. And I know that there's a lot of changes going on with Facebook and targeting right now with like new iOS changes and stuff. So yeah, well, thankfully, again, I, I, I delegated it to a very talented kid, Lachlan at LCG. Shout out LCG. Cool. Who's just a, he's a real marketing. But I mean, man, look, if I would have any other indie artists out there, use the platform for this find find these kids connect with them and what you are not able to do you know encourage them to do it they don't actually ask for that much money man compared to these fucking you know these drug dealers selling fake engagement and fake views and all that bullshit. sure sure oh that's, that's in, just come on that's been a thing for years at this point everyone knows it's bs well i mean i didn't know it's still news to me yeah. but i mean what i'm trying to say is like I want to end on this, man. Like, yeah. Leave me the fuck alone if you're not going <laughs> to like, if you got nothing nice to say. But if you do, I'm here for you and like invest in the kids. Like invest yeah. in the kids, engage with them, take an interest in them, and they'll lift you up. I, I love have faith that. In that for sure. I love that. I think that's a perfect ending to things. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm going to, I'm going to so leave. Much. Yeah, man. I'm going to leave everyone with a message. By the time that this comes out, leave me alone will be out. So like always, I'm going to re recommend Flowgly's music because it's honest, it's innovative, and it's generally enjoyable to listen to. Uh, you may have just found your new favorite rapper. So I say check it out. I say stream it and follow along for him for more. And I'm going to thank Thanks you so again. Much. I'm going to thank you again for coming on. I sincerely look forward to speaking again because I'm always waiting for the next big thing coming from you. And uh, take care, man. Seriously. Thanks for all the support, Austin. I'll always, see you next time. Always. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.